Wouldn't it be awesome if we had a software tool where we could write a short description of an imaginary person? Click a button and then generate a 3D face object that matches our text description. This would make it so much easier to design fictional characters in games with very little effort to do so, while still having some control over this design process. I realized this would be possible when I came across two different CVPR papers and I thought combining the two would make it possible to create such a tool that converts text to 3D faces. The first paper, titled Text to Face Generation via Attribute Disentanglement, introduces the TTF HD framework for producing high resolution 1024x1024 images from a text description containing the facial attributes of an imaginary person. They show that their method can produce diverse faces even from single sentence inputs by filling in the missing facial features by itself. But if you want more control over the output image, you can specify more details in your input description. As you can see, the method works really well for both cases producing some highly believable faces of fake people. A possible extension of this work would be to allow blatant space exploration of their generative model where we can adjust certain facial features with easy to use sliders and get a highly accurate depiction of our imagination. This brings me to the second paper. It is titled Realistically Renderable 3D Facial Reconstruction in the Wild. In this paper, the authors present a method to recover shape, texture, and depth information from a single portrait image and render a 3D face from it. This is such a cool paper and a research direction that I do not have much knowledge in but I am really looking forward to learn more about this line of work. So now imagine if we can combine all these methods into a single framework we could easily build a tool that first takes a text description input and produces a random face fitting that description. Then we can fine tune this generated image to match our exact imagination with a few attribute sliders and then we can use this to construct a 3D face from it. This would make the entire process highly automated and extremely simple and fun to experiment with. It seems the code and pre-trained models for both these papers are not released publicly as of June 2020. But once they do, I'll try putting them together into a single framework. So if you want to get notified about these updates, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell icon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.